Hi, we're in the next part, and I was talking in the previous parts about how it is that um, YouTube is under judgment and it doesn't even know it. Just like the United States of America is under judgment and I can't really say that they don't know it, they know it. Uh, but YouTube is unaware that it's like the Titanic and it is about to sink. All the uh, makings of a company about to crash are literally gawking at it and they are sitting where they are sitting, about to plunge into some kind of a bereft state of having lost their blood and street cred and reputation as the most popular girl on the school playground. They're about to lose it and it's going to happen so quickly, so a literally suddenly that they're gonna wonder what in the world happened they are gonna probably shuffle around with a whole bunch of freaking like change of ceos to see what can we do what what shall we do what shall we do to bring back our numbers to continue to skyrocket our share price what shall we do and they're not going to be able to realize basic small fundamental but foundational things as perception management um what do you call this consumer behavior uh, as it is attached to behavioral psychology as being responsible for causing an entire company to plunge they likely are going to look for all these other statistical and mathematical reasons alongside business reasons for why it is that people have walked away and they will ignore basic basic needs basic things like you like you cannot enslave a population to one ideology and expect them not to be smart enough to just get over you you're like an abusive husband that a wife just doesn't leave for a very long amount of time until one day he beats her up so badly that she finally decides that if i don't get out of here i'm gonna leave in a casket that's what youtube is doing to its consumers making them realize that they're being beaten up to a point where they're gonna leave in a casket like people are gonna find themselves losing five million five entire million subscribers in one sitting and losing their mansions losing their cars taking their kids out of private schools because youtube decided that they spoke something taboo they're headed there and when that stuff starts to happen in increasing measure among more and more people and new upcoming content creators cannot even put stuff on their platform for too for long enough before they get shadow banned on ip address that's what happened with me when people start to pick up these trends and enough of them give testimonials across the board of these trends people are gonna have lofty ambitions of becoming a youtuber or a content creator a social media personality but youtube is not going to be the first place where they're going to start to try to embark on such a career as that because of its loss of reputational pristine it's literally losing its reputation as it goes along that's what's going on people who in trying to antagonize the agenda of jesus christ and proliferate their own satanic agenda are killing their companies do you do you like mtn got rid of me listen to me speak listen to me can you imagine the kind of project manager and program manager that i was can you can you imagine what an asset i was that dumb organization and you did let me go over the fact that i spoke too much i literally lost my job because i spoke my mind so what then is facing MTN? They're still standing strong today as a company. They might argue that I got away with it, but that's just the thing about a company that falls. It likely does not fall just like the Titanic in one sitting. It's not a bomb that lands and it's over. It's gradual. One day, your stock price is the best in the market. You're the, high, you're the, you're the fastest growing company. And the next thing, consumers has lost, have lost confidence in you. And you are no longer getting as much traffic as you used to. You are literally being taken over by everybody else that is making a better decision. And then... And then just like Blackberry Messenger, you are going to be no more and WhatsApp is going to be the new you. I am independent now. I'm trying to, sorry, be independent. But I can only be independent once I've got 24-hour electricity. My intention is to pour my blood, sweat and my tears into my WordPress account, my blog, writing. Because I love writing something that I can't even do on YouTube. It's weird. Like, you know, YouTube is literally the worst platform for me given my kind of suite of gifting. Because all I can do there are videos. On Facebook, I can write laborious, lengthy, like Literally, absolutely elaborate pieces of literature next to my videos. Like the description box in YouTube, not YouTube, but Facebook, it allows you to do a whole essay. A whole essay, like dump an entire essay in there. And it's not going to restrict you in terms of characters. So you can not only upload a video, but also do a little excerpt of it. That's not even little. It's not even so much of an, even of an excerpt. It is an entire said like like I said, book, a little mini pamphlet worth of a novel that you can write on Facebook. Being a writer, Facebook is literally by far the best pa platform for me to upload videos because I can match them with written content. My web, my web, my WordPress account, of course, then is the best one because it is independent from scrutiny by powers that be that will wreak havoc in my life for being taboo. I can speak whatever I want on there without being given grief, especially considering I have bought the domain on WordPress and WordPress uh, does not en engage itself in political affairs where they're trying to block people from speaking on their platform. They don't do that. They just let you do what you want to do. You can be as taboo as you want to be. So I'll stick with WordPress. And on the day when WordPress decides to be a little bit of a hissy fit thrower, like bully on the, on the school playground, I will take my content 
and I will start an independent website that does not need literally using a web developer from scratch that does not need any existing foundational platform that comes from the United States of America but WordPress has not yet gotten there so I can speak what I want I can write what I want on my website without WordPress like I don't know trying to shove some silly little agenda down my throat or deplatforming or humiliating or scrapping my uh not video per se but what do you call this my my written work my article so i've got a, a website that i want to pour my blood sweat and tears into i will still upload videos on youtube but youtube will be probably the last platform that i upload on because i'm first going to upload on wordpress and i want to write I want to write, meaning I want to record less videos because I want to grow um, a base. I want to grow a base so I can start to get out of here. Now, what is the thing that has caused me all of this fear? Um, the desire to grow a base sooner rather than later, very quickly. It is the suite of nightmares that I got last night. I dreamt of me still living in the squalor in this great abject poverty and my cat turning eight my cat i was a rescue kitten and she was a kitten she looked like she could have been only like four or five or six maybe six months old uh she is currently a year and a half or two and i had a dream of my cat being eight years old while i'm still here god is warning me that if you try to get that damned that judged platform called youtube to change its mind you are never ever gonna have a decent enough salary for you to get out of your mother's house and do what you need to do with your life your cat will turn eight years old with you sitting you need to find an independent way to make money and i've given you solar panel panels so you need to start writing in your wordpress account so youtube is going to say see me less frequently but not before i lamp base them with this work and it is also a warning to the church of the lord jesus christ to get their stuff out of the titanic don't board leave if not leave have a base elsewhere literally if youtube is is a massive um supplement to your income try and make it less of a supplement to your income than it currently is like if you already have a foundational baseline income good for you but do not let youtube make you so comfortable that you can afford to buy a bigger house because of it let it make you comfortable enough to afford to go on an additional holiday in a year but not essentials if your life would be significantly tarnished and devastated in its quality because of YouTube demonetizing you or deplatforming you or bringing down a video. You are in trouble. You need to be independent from mainstream social media platforms. I will go so far as to say even Facebook, but Facebook has yet to break my heart in the way that YouTube has. Let's move to the next part. I need to go and feed my cat because she's wondering where her food is at.